So today we are going to do the short story in the syllabus HU four zero one that is Swallows by Khwaja Anand Abbas. Now, no, I, uh, now it is a bit difficult to do a short story, short story like this. So I would, because it becomes very difficult for me to go through the text and read every line and explain everything to you. So I will give you an overview, a gist of everything as far as possible. Uh, but I request you, advise you to read the story once, twice, thrice, because it not only will it help you answer uh, your, uh, not only will it help you understand better, but it will also help you answer questions in the exam, especially the MCQ questions. You never know from where a question may pop up. So continuing, uh, so first of just a few words about the writer Khwaja Ahmed Abbas, uh, just for your own interest. Now, Khwaja Ahmed Abbas is a very, is, is a very popular name in the, uh, in the cinema sphere of India. He's a prominent director, screenwriter. He has written the, the scripts of Raj Kapoor blockbusters like Avara, Street Charts, Hobbies, Mera Naam Joker, Bobby Hena, all were uh, just blockbuster movies uh, back in the 60s and 70s and the 80s. And uh, not only that, he's also an interviewer and he's interviewed a uh, lot of important personalities like the Russian Prime Minister Nikita Khrushchev, uh, not exactly Russia, it's USSR, uh, because you need to include the satellite states too. Then President Roosevelt, America, Charlie Chaplin, uh, China's communist leader Mao Zedong, Yuri Gagarin, the Soviet cosmonaut. So he's a very versatile man who's lived life to the essence and uh, explored every aspect of life. And this is something that we will find again and again in his stories. He tells about, he tells you about life. He tells you about the various aspects of life, the human, the human side of life. Now, it's just about the story in three, four, just just a little paragraph. Uh, the story is called Sparrow, so it, it has something to do with sparrows. What we'll get to know later. But it is a story about a man and his life and how he is perceived by others and how he changes his ways and becomes a better person and at last how he meets his end. These kind of stories are called humanist stories, H-U-M-A-N-I-S-T, humanist stories, because they tell, they give you the, they tell you about the human nature of life, the human aspect, the human side of life and existence. Now I will, I have divided the story into points. <laughs> we will not go into details because it's not possible uh, via this medium. But I have divided the story into uh, points that will help you understand the story, maintaining a chronology. So the protagonist of the story is a person called Rahim Khan, who is a 50 year old peasant and is absolutely disliked by everyone, his family, the entire village. No one wants to talk to him. No one. Uh, treads close to him, the village children don't go near his property, even his own sons Bundu and Nuru have run away because of a severe, because of, the, of his abusive nature towards them. And not only that, his wife also leaves him because for his hateful and abusive nature. And it's very interesting to see that when his wife leaves him, uh, Rahim Khan is not bothered about losing a person that he loved or a member of the family. What he's bothered about is that there is no one to do the work anymore or cook food for him anymore. He suddenly feels lonely, but not because he, he his loved family is gone, but because there's no one to display his anger. So the first impression you get of Rahim Khan is a is a is of a very vengeful person, a person who is very is filled with hatred, very vengeful, abusive, dominating, all negative qualities. Now, is he, as you see, the heading of this slide is past. And now we will study Rahim Khan's past to try to understand why he is the way that he is. The first point that is written is that Rahim Khan was a very different man when he was young. 
and he was a common man who had ambitions dreams who loved a woman wanted to marry her but could never express himself because of the domination of his family and society as a whole he could not marry radha because his father would not being a staunch muslim would not allow him to marry outside of his religion he could not join the circus because that was a job beneath their social status and he could hear his father boasting to his mother how well he had got his son to accept his words obediently rahim khan wanted to be loved and cared he had some desires and dreams and he wanted people to respect those dreams which they never did and this led to the rise of resentment inside him towards life altogether and towards specially society and family so he was not always this negative character that you see that he is his past has made him into so into one now we come to the sparrows now sparrows are the titular characters and so they are important how are they important so one day the story goes so one day as rahim khan was cleaning up his house after his wife has left he comes across a sparrow nest where there are there's a sparrow couple and their uh, chicks two chicks probably and by his nature he first tries to uh, just uh, shove everything off and throw it away but he meets with a very resilient protest and resilient uh, fight from the parent sparrows who kind of try to scratch him and uh, just flutter their wings to his face and something happens here something happens here rahim khan is amazed and he realizes the bond of love that is there in in that sparrow family and he kind of realizes that this is what he had wanted and desired all his life but he has never got so and this is a very important moment in the story and rahim khan's life because now he will start to turn on a new leaf and become a new person become a new person we will and, and we are going to see that he is amused by the birds heroic efforts to save the young one save their family and that is why the story gets the name sparrows because the sparrows are the greatest and the most important symbol in this story the sparrows lead the change and transformation in rahim khan the transformation as as is written so rahim khan is not only now we now we go we are able to see through rahim khan's character that he is not this old vengeful hateful person he cares for the sparrows he feeds them and even calls the sparrow chicks bundu and nurwage after his own sons so this proves to us that he misses his sons that he wants his sons that he loves his sons so he's not a bad man sneak society has made him has made him resentful and no one has ever tried to speak to him about this resentment inside him no one has ever tried to understand him and not only this the village has also take note of this change in temperament and nature in him but having seen him for years and years and years and years they are still not sure if rahim khan has really changed and so they kind of maintain a distance they do mingle with him now but they kind of maintain a distance because they never know when rahim khan is going to you know blast back into his previous self they are a bit skeptical and afraid now we'll come to the conclusion of the story how rahim meets his end so one day there's heavy rain and there's a leak in the roof which is absolutely destroying the nest and so he goes on to the roof fully drenched in the rain and he fixes the roof and in turn saves the nest and the sparrow family he wakes up he woke up with fear the next day and he knew that he's going to die that his end is near that his time on earth is at an end now it is very striking that at this moment all he could think of is who would take care of the birds 
But this is again proof that Rahim Khan is not a selfish person. It is in his heart of hearts, he is a good man, he is a selfless man who has given his life away to save a sparrow family, something as trivial and common and ordinary like that. And later when his wife and sons come and they, re and they find him, uh, find his dead body lying on the bed, they could hear the fluttering of the birds. Now the fluttering of the birds is very important because it is a symbol of, la of Rahim Khan's life altogether. Because this fluttering of the birds, the life in the birds is there because Rahim Khan gave his life to protect their nest and their family. So the birds are not only a symbol of Rahim Khan's life, but they are also a symbol of the transformation or the inner good that Rahim Khan had within himself. So this is more or less the story. Now, I would break this lecture into two parts. This is the first part where I've given you an overview of the story and I would want you to read the story. It's easily available on the internet. And so that next week when we move to the second part of the lecture where we speak about all question answer related matters that you can relate to the things like the themes or uh, the symbols or things like that. So please read the story. It will help you appreciate and understand better. Thank you.